that's bright, that's bright. Where are you? There you are. Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a walk along Thistle Street. So how are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and well out there. Um, it's changed a little bit here in Scotland since last week. As of today, uh, rules have slackened just a little bit. Not only are we allowed to be out for personal exercise, um, we are allowed to be out to socialise now as well. As of today, two people um, are allowed to meet up with two other people from other households for outdoor catching up and, and more social reasons and uh, you can also go to someone's garden and you can uh, meet them there and chat with them so uh, life is starting to ease up here now we're no longer as strict we're allowed to be out a little bit more which is nice i'm out because i've had some errands to run um and i'm going and i suppose technically it's my exercise today as well because i'm not going to get out again after this um so i thought whilst we're in the part of town that i needed to do some stuff we'll take a walk along Thistle Street because I remembered when I've done my walking around series I haven't done Thistle Street and especially when I did the new town the original new town which if you haven't seen my description of that and my, my, my the history of that I will leave a link in the corner and in the description so you can go check that out Thistle Street was named um, because it's the National Flower of Scotland Rose Street was named because it's the national flower of England. Now you might read things sometimes it was called Rose Street because it got an ill repute. That's not true. It, it was called Rose Street because this design was very um, to be uh, with the union of Scotland and England, Wales. Um, and if you actually, the really, the really very first original design of the new town, if you look down in it, the Rose Street runs all the way along parallel to Princess Street and uh, George Street. Thistle Street actually only does halfway along and then it changes name. We might do the, the next one after that, but actually it, it, those run parallel as well. George Street and uh, Queen Street, it runs parallel to them as well. But that's not the original design. The very, very, very original design was diagonal. So from the corner here at the back of uh, back of St Andrew's Square where it's about to start it went diagonally through the buildings down to the very corner of Princess Street and then on this side here on the left side it started diagonally at Princess Street and went all the way up um, to the, the, uh, diagonally on the opposite side because the original design from above was the Union Jack now I think they changed it because it wasn't practical to cut through buildings like that it made it more obvious to be a block a block sort of design rather than angles and cuts and things it, it works better in a block sort of thing but anyway that's a little bit of history for you um, but we're going to take a walk along Thistle Street it's not a street that you'd probably go oh this is not very exciting there's some bits that are, are it's just a street it's just buildings behind buildings you know it's the same as before it was designed to let people get access to the bigger buildings the side the, the trade side of it but there is some little shops and pubs and things that if you don't go, you'll miss them. Another example, just as I head towards the start of Thistle Street, that, that was all designed in a union of England and Scotland sort of thing, is because this is St Andrew's Square. The opposite side was actually Charlotte Square, which was named after um, the Queen, well, yes, the Queen at the time, the King's wife, the Queen at the time. Um, it wasn't originally going to be that, it was going to be St George Square, the patron saint of England, but there's already a George Square in Edinburgh, so they didn't want to cause confusion. So it's St Andrew's Square, Charlotte Square. Anyway, this is the start of Rose Street. <laughs> Thistle Street. Too much information. It's all spouting out of me. I'm just rambling on. How do you guys put up with it? So, this is Thistle Street, or at least the start of it from the side that I'm at is St Andrew's Square. If I look up to my left, that is the Scott Monument right there. But we're actually going here, and I know it doesn't look like much, and you will find that a lot of it is... You know, that's obviously more of a modern building right there. But there are also some gems, so that's what we're going to go and find as we're walking along. So like I said, this is named after uh, the, the National Flower of Scotland. But what I like about it here as well, it's still cobbled. I know that we've got a lot of that in Edinburgh, but on this side of town there's far less of that. Um, so I like that it's still cobbled, and you can see it's 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 uneven. But it, the 
I like it. So this first part is not exactly brimming with things to do and see, but there are. You know what I mean? That's that's not a young building there. It's not a young building. I like this. It's this little sort of building tucked in amongst these bigger office buildings. It's like up. This little housey building that's obviously got an age to it that is surrounded by a car park. It's actually got its own little... See, look at that. See? Isn't that beautiful? Now, it says it's Thistle Court Business Centre. I don't know what that is. And that's not important right now. But look at this little... You know what? That's been someone's house. That's been a little cul de sac house at some point tucked here that someone... See, look at that. Look at that beautiful little... <laughs> That should be in the country somewhere, you know what I mean? That should be sitting, surrounded by a big garden and fields, love little courtyard, not beside <laughs> office buildings like that. I love that, I absolutely love that. We're not gonna see much on this first section and there's actually only two blocks of Thistle Street. I actually didn't think I was gonna find much on this first section, but I was looking there and going, that's, that's old, that building's old. And then I can see a plaque. And you know me with plaques, I have to go see what it says. If I can not get run over first, that is. This building, although the U looks like a V, this building gifted to the minister and elders of the parish of St Andrew by Mr Alexander McLean, perfumer, perfumer in Edinburgh in the year 1835, was rebuilt by the Kirk's session and consecrated for the use. It's throwing me off because the user of these. <laughs> Uh, of the church and parish of St Andrew in the year 1900. So that's coming up for 200 years old, this bit here, but like, like as many of you know, that's young. That's young. I'm not sure about the colour though, to tell you the truth. So you can see that's us at the end of that first block of Thistle Street. Not exactly um, a massive amount of things to get excited about there, but, but, if we're going to do it, we have to do it all. Now, as we cross Hanover Street here, this is where we'll start to find a few more bits and bobs that you don't want to miss. See this right here? Right in the corner there, Henderson's, which is now shut. That's a real loss to Edinburgh. It was one of the first vegetarian restaurants um, and ran for decades. And unfortunately, due to COVID, we've lost it. Um, it's a real, real loss. It was a beautiful little restaurant. So that's the that's one of the first rubbish things I suppose to hit. But yes, if you head on to Thistle Street here at Hanover Street, this is where we get more Italian restaurant there. See these are the little things that you'll miss. Little coffee thing. I don't know what that is. It, it, you can see that Edinburgh is Still, business-wise, we're still closed. We're allowed to be out for social reasons now. But for the most part, we're still closed. That was Henderson's as well. So you can see it was a big part there, and it went down and underneath. And then you can come into that part there as well. It's a real, real shame. That is a nice building. That sandstony sort of colour reminds me of my school, my primary school. It was built out of those sort of bricks. So that's what I see when I see them. It's a beautiful street, this, isn't it? See now, look at these buildings. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Thistle Street Bar, how nice does that look? See, don't be afraid to head down these sort of ways because you will miss. You will miss some beautiful little places. Alchemy Studio Fine Jewelry. Hopefully, this will be open again in the near future because we are heading that way. Just look at these old buildings. Is that not beautiful? Are they not lovely? I, I, I know, I know, I'm a geek. But that old stonework and brickwork on the cobbled streets as well is just, isn't it just lovely? I was wondering what, I really smelled something delicious. I think it's this, cobbled roastery Edinburgh. I'm just getting a smell of food that's making me so, so, so hungry. I'm supposed to pick up lunch um, on our way back for me and Kirsten. Oh my goodness, that smells amazing. Oh, look at that brick, look at that. And the old signs, oh, I love that, I love that. We also had to clean up the bricks a bit as well, which really makes it stand out a bit. Actually, I want to know what that was for as well. 
See that? Don't you think that's maybe an old delivery hatch that's been bricked up? Because that's definitely some sort of doorway there. So many little things. If, if you, if you, this is. I think Thistle Street is a street that gets missed. People don't think about coming here. I mean, look at this restaurant here, Fishers in the City. I am not uh, a seafood person. Obviously, this menu will be slightly out of date. I'm sure they will update their memo. Fishers in the City. Fish soup, roasted butter and squash, cod salmon, not my sort of thing, because like I said, don't eat seafood. Wine and beer specialists, see what I mean? See what I mean? Come down to Thistle Street, honestly, there's so many little, little bits that if you blink, you'll miss them. Because this is not a street, you, I can guarantee you this is not a street that most of you would even think about heading to. That looks lovely as well, actually. Oh, look at that entranceway there. That's like the old closest of Edinburgh, that one. You can see there's a couple of doorways in there. Two different doorways on the inside. I won't go up because it's obviously someone, people's houses. But that, that's beautiful. Another little restaurant here as well. See, I want you to come to these sort of places. This Mexican food kind of, kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Again. It's odd to be here and it'd be so quiet when there's obviously so many little hidden gems here. Just looking at one of the side streets here, Thistle Street Southwest Lane. Look at the brickwork. I don't know what that building is. But oh, that looks like it's got a history. I know, I know, I know. I'm a geek. I know. You just are bound to be fed up and be talking about stuff like this. Jewelers, another cafe here. Like I said, that's Thistle Street done. It's only two blocks, that one and that one. But this second block, or from Hanover Street to Frederick Street in between, there is so many little cafes and restaurants that you're gonna miss. Unless you're brave enough to come down and have a look, you're gonna miss. So once it opens up again, please head down this way. A couple of little things just before we finish. Um, like I said, it was named after the National Flower of Scotland, but I just want to talk about the one building. You know the first one we saw where I went? It doesn't look like it belonged to there. Now when the, the new town was being built, people were encouraged to come and build here, build their businesses here to expand out the city. So the gent that built that first one that I said doesn't look like it belongs there, it kind of doesn't. Um, he was offered £20 for building, in 1700 and something um, which would be a lot of money at the time I suppose and he bought the pot, pot of land and he built a two story two 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 story semi detached houses instead of these sort of more tenementy flat buildings um, and instead of building it out facing the street which was the original design as well he built along the way so he's, he's, he completely went against the whole concept and design of the whole of the new town, the whole idea of it, he went, yeah, this is great. Have I bought that bottle of land? Can I build what I like? Right, I'm building this. The rest of you do what you want, but this is what I'm going to have. So <laughs> it's probably why it's jumped out of my head so much when I spotted it, because it shouldn't have been like that. It was supposed to be more like this. Like all these streets in this area, all these buildings are in this area. But he went, nah, nah, I'm building this. And he built it. I love that, I love that. Again, this was supposed to be more of a residential street, really. Um, but the shops and things popped up as they tend to do. Just down the side there, there's another little bit. Let's see what restaurant, what kind of restaurant this is before we head away. Now this is technically a side street off Thistle Street. Let's see what sort of restaurant it is. Uh, sourdough, it's just, it's just a nice puppy bar restaurant. Look at that, see what I mean, see what I mean? If you blinked, you'd miss it. And if you didn't come down this way, you wouldn't find it. That looks lovely, actually. So there you go, I've got, sorry, I've got really excited about a very quiet street, but with things on it that you need to come and discover. So definitely head down to Thistle Street if you get the chance. That's my ride, you can hear in the background, they're coming to get me. Um, I think we'll leave it there for today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, that was a ramble that was me rambling I've not done that for a while but it's a beautiful cobbled old street here in this heart of Edinburgh 
some beautiful little hidden restaurants and, and, and cafes and things that you're not going to know about unless you head down, so please do. I kind of want to come back and try a few of them myself. Remember to give it a like, leave a comment, let me know if you've tried any of those places actually. If do you recommend any? I'd love to know. Um, remember to subscribe, that would be amazing if you could. But, until next time, bye humans. Thank you.